name is Audrey Johns. I'm the founder of Lose Weight by Eating, and I want to show you how to make really delicious, really moist, and low calorie cookies in only 10 easy steps. We're going to go ahead and do some oatmeal raisin today. Now, oatmeal will boost your metabolism, it cleans out your tummy. It's a great thing to have so you can have these cookies because they're going to be good for you. Just wait and see. First, we're going to go ahead and add in three quarters of a cup of flour. I like organic white. Next, we're gonna add in two cups of brown sugar. Don't worry, this can be 30 cookies. Don't get worried about all the sugar. Next, we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of baking soda. This will fluff them up for us. And a pinch of salt. Step one. Step two, we're going to add in some baby food. This is peach baby food. Now when you add in baby food, um, mashed bananas, um, even applesauce into a cookie recipe, you can take out a lot of the sugar and you can take out a lot of the butter as well. So I love to do this. It adds so much moistness and it's really good for you too. So really quickly, I'm just gonna do a quick stir, get all of my dry ingredients together and they're ready. I'm gonna add in the peach baby food. These are actually a half a cup, so it's perfect if you get these little guys and you always know how much you have. Next, I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Maybe a little bit more. I love vanilla. This is so good. This is homemade, delicious vanilla. We're gonna add in one egg and two tablespoons of very soft butter. Look at that, so good. We're gonna give it a whirl in a KitchenAid mixer. I love this. You can also just use a spatula and a little bit of elbow grease. And turn on nice and low and just let everything incorporate until it's just there. With cookies, you don't wanna overdo it. They'll get tough. You want them to just get to the point where they've just combined and we're there. Then to that, I'm gonna add in I think we're on step four now, that's how easy these are. We're gonna add in some delicious raisins. Now, if you're not a fan of raisin, use um, dried cranberries, dried cherries, dried apricots chopped up. You can throw in any kind of fruit that you like, and I really recommend that you switch it up, and it makes your, your house smell good, you change up, you know, your taste buds get tricked every single time, and you're adding lots of antioxidants and good stuff. This is one cup of raisins. Give it one quick whirl. Like I said, you don't want to overdo it. And then we've got two cups of just old-fashioned oatmeal. You can also use the, um, the quick oatmeal, but it's ground so finely that I find that it um, kind of becomes mush. I like these ones. They're nice and thick. Um, they're almost whole oats. You could also use steel cut as well. I'm going to add in almost a half so we don't have confetti everywhere. There we go. A little bit more. And last time. There's our confetti. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna give it one more quick whip. There we go. All right. It's gonna fall right off. Now what I like to do is I like to stick these inside of the fridge for about 15 minutes so they firm up. But we're doing this in 10 easy steps, so we're gonna get them done right now for you. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna do one more quick whisk um, or mix here. Sometimes the oatmeal or some of the dry ingredients will get stuck to the bottom. And I don't wanna over mix it inside the mixer, so I'll just kind of fold it right now. And we're ready. I just let it get sticky. All right, so what we do is we're gonna put these into the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. You wanna keep an eye on them. When they're done, you can pick them up and the underside of them will be nice and golden. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So now when I flip it over, nice and golden brown, not black, just golden brown. I like to leave them on the tray five, 10 minutes until I can physically handle the tray because the heat's still gonna generate up. So these are my 10 easy steps to making delicious homemade oatmeal raisin cookies the skinny way. Happy cooking. Mm -hmm.